some of the things that you see working as a cast member at Disney or at other theme parks, <laughs> you really wish you hadn't seen. Some of them are just, well, unbelievable. <laughs> I can't believe I saw that. When you work at a theme park, you see some amazing things, some wonderful things, some fantastic things. You're a part of it all the time. And then you see things that you just like, I really wish I hadn't seen that. That was not what I wanted to see. That's not what I signed up for. And some of it is other employees and some of it is the guests. Oh yes, the guests. <laughs> some of it you kind of expect. If you work with entertainment at all in the parks, for us as PhotoPass photographers, we worked with the characters and other performers sometimes, so we were in and out of dressing rooms. So you get used to seeing cast members coming off stage and changing. That That's part of the job. It was always entertaining to stand where the parade would come off, because when a parade was coming off stage, and if you were waiting to go out on, you could not go until the parade was over. You kind of got boxed in and you just had to stand there and wait. And you would watch the people coming off stage. They're dancing with the parade, all excited and happy and wonderful. And then there's actually painting on the ground that lets you know when you can't be seen anymore. And as soon as they would hit those lines, it would be... <laughs> and just this immediate transformation... Uh, depending upon the costume they would wear, as soon as they crossed those lines, it was costume pieces coming off and stripping down. They actually had other cast members there many times that would have cold towels that they could immediately grab and start wiping off the sweat because they're hot and sweaty because Florida is hot and sweaty. Just this huge transformation as you watch the parade literally break down in front of you and the people immediately going into cool tents and changing. It was that way pretty much with any entertainment break room, too. As soon as you'd be walking into the break room, costume pieces would go flying. <laughs> you would see people relaxing in the break room half-dressed because there was no reason to get dressed because everybody working entertainment sees and does the same thing. In many ways, it's almost like being backstage at a theater when there's a huge production going on. It's the same idea, and if you're used to working in theater productions and stuff, then you're used to it. It's no big deal. You don't even notice it. But if you're not used to it, the first few times can be, um, well, a little shocking. <laughs> You'd see people walking around backstage like the princesses wearing their bloomers and t-shirts. Hey, they still got the makeup on. They still got the crowds. They're still princesses and royalty, but yeah, hey, it, they're a little more casual backstage. You would also see some really hilarious things. I remember when Captain Jack Sparrow first started at Magic Kingdom. He walks in one time to the big, huge cafeteria at Magic Kingdom. We're sitting there eating lunch, and all of a sudden, he bursts in the door. Ladies and gentlemen, it is I, Captain Jack Sparrow! And he proceeds to go all around the cafeteria area, interacting with people, taking their food, goofing off... Captain Jack, not some cast member dressed as Captain, it's Captain Jack. <laughs> the whole time, in character. It, it, we just kind of sat there and looked at each other. The ones I was eating were like, wow, we just got attacked by Captain Jack Sparrow. This is a day that we will always remember. Yes, cast members had fun backstage. The problem came when guests would kind of get in on the act. I, one thing that has definitely happened over the last few years is dress standards at theme parks have kind of gone down, uh, especially among the guests. Back when I was working there, to see somebody wearing yoga pants was rare. Now it's normal. Uh, but what's become even more kind of shocking is how the amounts of clothing have decreased, and you see guests that they're hanging out in the parks, and I don't mean they're just kind of standing around doing nothing um there are parts hanging out that shouldn't be hanging out and you're kind of going you know uh when i was in my scooter 
at Disney this last trip. I, I didn't realize how many guests were really feeling cheeky while they were at the park. You kind of like, you know, you could have used about two more inches of material on that. The behavior. Oh, goodness. I still remember one time I was shooting pictures at Epcot. And there were these five young ladies that they had definitely been drinking their way around the world. And they all wanted pictures. And, hey, let's grab the photo pass guy. Let's have pictures. And uh, they're definitely having a good time. And they're not dressed the best. And these poor ladies, they can't stand there straight for the picture. They can't sit appropriately either and i'm kind of going ladies this is not a picture i want to take that's not what we want to see in our pictures i ugh, i can't believe <laughs> and you're just kind of going to look hello uh, probably the worst was over at splash mountain one time and i've told this story before but i will never forget when we had the tour group over there i'm shooting pictures over by splash mountain I'm finishing my time, my time's about up, and here goes a couple cast members zipping by, and I'm hearing on the radio about security over to Splash Mountain. You know, what on earth is going on? Okay, I'm free, maybe they need somebody to help clear space or whatever. So I kind of head on over, mostly out of curiosity, but also partially out of duty to see if they need help, and since I was free, and here's a whole big Brazilian tour group of teenagers that decided they didn't want to get wet on Splash Mountain with what they're wearing, so they're changing clothes out in front of the ride. La, 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 I don't want to see that. Go use the restroom. Speaking of restrooms, why don't people use the restrooms? There are people that they get in line for a ride and then decide they have to go and they don't want to leave to go to the restroom, so they go. Eric, I've, I mentioned the one time that you had the one kid go in the garden waiting to see Ariel. Ooh. I, who, who did it? I don't know. We're taking pictures, and all of a sudden you hear somebody come in and say, Hey, folks, um, there's a, a special present over in the garden that some child left. And you have to close down the whole entire area because somebody's little dumpling left a dumpling there. Why? I mean, I understand kids sometimes. They have to go. And so you do what you can as a parent. Trust me. I've been there. I had two little ones. You make them go in the restroom or too bad for them. You don't go just wherever. That's gross. And yet I would have people that would take their kids on the train. We told people ahead of time, it's a 20-minute train ride. Go use the restroom first. We'll let you come back and save your place in line. Go take the kid to the restroom, come back. Not a problem. And yet there were a number of times on the train that I would catch people holding their kids to the side of the train so they could go pee in the woods. I came back one time finishing the robbery as I'm about to get on the train and there's a guy literally holding his son up in the air off the side of the train so he can go. Hello? Okay, I'm, I, I get it as a parent, but why didn't you do this ahead of time? The worst, though, was when I came back and... No, actually, I'm sorry. I was at the front of the train. And the engineer starts signaling me that I needed to go back. And I walk around, and in the front car, there's an adult guy. Dude? Really? You couldn't wait till we got back to town to use the bathroom? You're out here in the woods? Do you not notice that everybody here on the car around you can... How low class you gotta be to do that? No! No! <laughs> just yeah those are the kinds of things that you just you get done and you're going i i didn't want to see that i really didn't no folks use the restroom before you get into a long line or on a ride if you gotta go in your line tell the cast member attendants they'll let you back in more than likely don't go out there and cover yourselves because we don't want to see that. That's We came to see something magical. And uh, that is not magical. Nope. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> Are there other things that you've seen at the parks that you really wish you hadn't seen? I'd love to hear it. Uh, hopefully. <laughs> It's going to get real scary real quick. But share your stories below in the comments. I, I really would love to hear them. Do you think I'm being a little too extreme on a couple things? Let me know. Um, my poor eyes, though. But I'd love to hear your feedback. Don't forget to check the comments. Don't forget to check the description below. There's a ton of information there, including about supporting me on Patreon. There's all sorts of perks of supporting me. If you want to know more about it, please check it out. As well as merch and other stuff. Thank you so incredibly much to my patrons, my YouTube supporters. I couldn't do what I do without them. Thank you two so much for watching. God bless. Okay. This is... I can't believe I saw that. That's why it's scary. <laughs> ah. Thank you so incredibly much to my patron. Thank you so much. Thanks so much for watching. If you'd like to know about my merchandise and fan pages and more, be sure to check the description below. If you'd like to know whenever I've got a new video posted up, make sure you hit that button right up there and subscribe. If you want to see another of my videos right now, well, I've got a great one for you right here. And if you'd like to be like these wonderful people here and support me financially on Patreon, well, make sure you check that link right there. There's all sorts of perks and benefits. Thank you so much and God bless.